Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side mirror, which is pretty much the same as replacing the passenger side mirror on this 99 Venture. Um, and same process for most 98 uh, or 97 to 05 Venture, Montana, Transport, um, Silhouette, the GM minivans. Tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet with extension. First, you're going to want to tie up this switch plate. Okay, and then actually unplug the three connectors. And I find it easiest just to kind of press on this black tab and then pry. Okay, that one out. Um, and this green one. Kind of the same thing, use a screwdriver, press on that tab, push, okay. and then this mirror switch, okay, there's a little tab right here that you need to pry back with your fingernail or a screwdriver. Then pull the connector out. Okay, I've already done that before, so it was looked kind of easy. That will require some force usually the first time. Now again with your screwdriver, you're gonna pry out this bezel here. Find your door handle. Now there are two 10 millimeter screws, one right in there, and then one right down there, and you need to remove those. Put those out, now there's just a series of pins around the outside perimeter, and then two right in here um, that you need to pull out. So you can either use a, like a putty knife or something to get underneath. I actually just work my fingers right underneath up here and then give a good tug, work down further, give a good tug, okay. and work my way right around the door panel. And then it comes off. You can see here is your mirror held on by three 10 millimeter bolts. You want to just pull back. This right here is your uh, mirror lead. There's a tab right there. Um, probably the best thing. Let's see here. We're just kind of squeezing this clip, pull it out. Okay. And now push that tab. And pull that apart. And now we can remove these three nuts. Okay, and I fast forward through removing those, and those are 10 millimeter nuts, just like the screws for the door panel. Okay, so there's your mirror out. Here's my old mirror, new mirror from 1A Auto. You can see it's all the same. Okay, plugs are the same and everything. Okay, so it's going to go right in there with no problem, just has a little knob for shipping purposes. And actually you can see there's nothing wrong with my old mirror. I'm just doing this to kind of show you how to do it. Uh, but obviously these get broken parking lots or parking garages. Feed the wire down first. Okay, make sure that wire doesn't get caught up anywhere. Here. Pull the wire down. 
Okay, and I'm just going to speed it up as we reinstall those uh, three 10 millimeter nuts. And you want to tighten them up nice and firm. You don't want to go too crazy with tightening them. Okay, and I am going to speed up uh, putting the door panel back on. Uh, once you've taken it off, getting it on, it's pretty easy. You know, you pin it back on and then put the two screws in, replace the bezel, and replace the switch, and you're pretty much all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.